Flame Tempest Hall in Durham. Um, tonight we have Marion Goodfellow, Veronica, and Suzette. And we we've only just been on the premises about five minutes. Well, I've been on it a couple of times, but you've been only on it about a few minutes, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you'd already sensed energy. Oh yeah, sensed um, nursing sister, I think. Very old fashioned bar, so I don't know when this was, probably 17th, 18th century, something like that. Um, but yeah, interesting. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. And I, I picked up on this flight sergeant, he's not giving me his name, um, and he's a little bit in my face because um, it, a female, have I have rank, yeah. I have rank, and he doesn't like this. But yeah, I'm already sensing that, so I'm looking forward to sort of really digging deep and getting their story. What so, anything? Dogs. Dogs have been here. Yeah. Yeah. Have no, and there's yeah. also been horses. We know, probably know these, but you know, obviously the location was a lot bigger. We can see some of the buildings that are still here, but there's a good half of it missing. Yes, definitely. Yes. Where I think it went more up, up that way, and, and no. that way, and that way, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely. I feel down towards the river as well. Mm. Um, Often times you would find, don't you, buildings like this with that riverside connection, yes. water and yes. things like that. Yeah. Yes, and because we're close to water, water is a connection for, for spirit. spirit. Yeah. Um, so we know that works together. And it's raining and it's, we've had a thunderstorm, so all that's going to help to create the atmosphere to tonight. So I'm looking forward to I think to we've still got a thunder going on. I think <laughs> we have, so let's see what happens. Um, again? I feel a lot of sickness. Yep. I feel biliously. I feel as if I could throw up myself, you know what yep. I mean? So there must have been some sort of like nursing done on this. Whether it's site. some kind of infirmary, I don't know. Yeah. But I feel a lot of um, sickness. Sickness. No, as I said, I think whether there is some sort of infirmary to your soldiers that you sense with here, I don't sense that at all. I feel quite religious, but then on looking round, there is a couple of places that do religious education here on this side. So that, I'm just, I'm picking that up, but yeah. it's not mediumistic, you can just go and see it yourself. Yeah. But I really do feel as if uh, there's a lot of sickness around here. I'm not typhoid or, or something, some oh. really, really bad sickness, oh. a, 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 a sort of plaguey type yeah, of thing. Yeah, type thing. Yeah. Yeah. I felt as if it wasn't the, the injuries that I was getting when I came in and was feeling, oh, oh my god, um, was residual from the men. Yeah. But it feels like it was it went from one to the other to the other to the other. Yeah, and it feels like infectious. And it, it, it could have been and we're looking at different time levels here. Yeah. You know, your soldiers could have been pre my my infirmary. Because that's what I feel, more or like less infirmary. Not necessarily a hospital, no. but somewhere where you were sent because you were convalescing. Well co or or contagious even. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Could be that. Could be that. It, it, it'd be interesting to see what we get as the night unfolds, but it's already seeming quite good that you've got these mm. different layers. Yeah, of within the place, yeah. I mean, I'm, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting a lot because there's a lot of traffic here and a lot yeah. of little businesses going on in here. Um, and that dilutes, as you know, any, any sort of feelings that we can pick up. But then coming through the door, it was definitely a lady in charge, a nurse in charge. Yeah. You know, but a matron type. Yeah, it, sister, I would have thought. Yeah. Nobody was really the boss. No. But but definitely in charge of this particular area. Who's coming, who's going, that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, perhaps I don't know, she was a ledger nurse. You know what they used to be like? They used to be nurses for every everything yeah so uh, yeah it'd be interesting to feel if we can pick anything else up and where it is you know even if 
at some point we, we can't go too far upstairs, but even if we're up upstairs, whether we feel like it was dormed up yeah. there. Or, oh, I do think that there was a lot of dormitories. Or, or what, and what was used for what area, because obviously yeah. they, they, they did different things. I don't know, if it was an isolation uh, sort of infirmary, if you like, they would have kept the nurses here yeah. as well, so exactly. they would have all been housed on the site, not necessarily in here, but around yeah. the area. Yeah. Um, it's just really interesting, see if we can pick up anybody else. But it has been diluted by traffic, a lot of traffic coming around, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think much comes through here apart from the toilets, but definitely there's some bits and pieces yeah, that, like, yeah. that do dilute it. I, I also feel like she's wanting to kind of take our hands and go, Yeah, come I on, show you yeah. more. Yeah. I yeah. will give you what you need. To know. To know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what she she says. I also feel for me that there would have been, I don't know, I don't know if there would have been a fire of some kind going on in the building, but I mean obviously with a fire I've got lots of water, dirty water. Yeah. So, you know, it's hard to say with a fire or a flood, but I've got a fire, definitely. Yeah. There would have been a fire in here. So perhaps the historian can have a look through that and see if there were... It is, but if you here. look, you, you've gone, you know, what? You know, this was out in a rural area because then you've got the big thermal door there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Um, it's very regal for a, for a little building like this, isn't I, it? I, I don't know why, but I've got the squadron that was hit, one of the squadrons that were here was three numbers. Yeah. It wasn't a four yeah. figure number, it was three figures. And I'm, I'm asking her to, to come forward How later. About what type, time, date, place would you put that at? See, I'm feeling World War One, two. So early 1900s then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like it was was used. Oh, I think it was used before that. I was. I think feel like it was used for other things. I feel like it was also used to fight the Scots. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? You know, because we're very close to the border. Yeah. And we were only we're only about 50 miles from the other side of the country, the west side of the country. Yeah. So, you know, it's very, we're in a very narrow strip of land right. here. Yeah. So, you know, uh, the A66, choo -choo, you're there, you know. So, exactly. my name's Henry, this is Aaron, and we're about to go, go down to the cemetery that's been abandoned into a forest. They've all been knocked down. We went there yesterday, we had Quite a big activity happens, so we're going to try and see if we can find somewhere around that. Hopefully, because we've been down to the cemetery, we'll be able to bring some of the energy or whatever's around there over to us. So, you said you had energy. Can you tell us what happened last night? Uh, we went down to a... No, we were walking around and I heard a noise, so I ended up chasing it. Then, we got... To a spot where we saw some graves and started reading them and then I went to another one and it was a cross that said 1115 in the middle of it and then as it was the bottom of the cross it just said Henry my name so I made a little giggle going oh look it's me it's my burial and within about seconds of that happening there was a loud growl and a massive crash right behind me in the woods like literally it was right behind me into the dirt and we turned around there was nothing. I, I definitely jumped. That scared me, but there was something there. Now I'm not sure if that's because I th it could be a negative spirit or it could be a positive one, but they didn't like the fact that I giggled about a grave. So I obviously apologised afterwards saying, Oh sorry, I offended you. I wasn't I wasn't laughing at your grave, I was just being funny with my name being there as well.
spelled that it. Got the steps going down. You can see that, so let's go get away from all that and the doors there. So this was again another way out from the for the squadron. Would they have used this feeling? Couldn't it no. have been a captain's sort of like entrance only? But down or there, general or whatever it would have been. Because you've got the flagpole there. Yeah. This would have been the drill square because they would have. Oh, definitely. Around. Yeah. And it would have been used as the rifle range. It would have been new. It would, it had multi periods. This needs to go down further. Further. Yeah. The, this isn't the drill square is not this level. Um, and there were stones there. It wasn't a solid um, like stone. Grass area, it stone. Was, yeah. It wasn't grass. It was sto Ch little stones, like chippings. Chippings. Yeah. Get yeah. yeah. that. It, it was originally constructed in 1865. That's quite late, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but I think there was a building prior to here. So do I. Um, yeah, definitely. Because I want to go back. Yeah, we, we said there was definitely um, some sort of military fort going back, but also, I believe, a religious um, order. Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, some sort of like month retreat, month training, that kind of thing. What do they call them? Hey, right? you call them something? Monasteries. Monasteries. Oh, it's monasteries. Yeah, what were they called? Yeah. This is this is more interesting than the front gate. Yeah. Because it's you know it's got more detail here. It has than uh, than that front bit. Um, you don't want to put any areas. Well, as soon as I saw this, I thought this, this is it. This has got to be it. This has got to be your bit. Yeah. The nursery bit was my bit round the corner. Yeah. But this is definitely. I feel the other horse is quite nervous. The horses, I think, wouldn't have come on. Oh no, here. Come here. But but they would go across there, so they did, there would have been. Either. A stable block either side. Yeah. I'm not being shown that way for the stable block. But I feel like I need to expand it. We've got the wall there, but I feel like that was only a part wall. There was another wall, and then there was another wall by, oh, I think so, yeah. by the river. Yeah. Um, I, I but I feel like the river was blocked off, so people couldn't go and fish it. I'm going to Marilyn with this because I feel like this is that nursing connection with a white lady that, that's shown herself. Yeah. She, she's a thoroughly. She's like, oh, you've seen me, but I, I should be going and doing this. Yeah. It, it, you get a time period. Like, I think it's, well, I felt it was earlier than this. Yep. 1865 seems quite late to me. Yep. But then, you know. 1865, what was the inside in 1865? It was pre-World War One, wasn't it? Yep. So you could have been picked up people done to, well, did they go to the, what was it called, the African War? The Boer War. Know, yeah. Yeah. The Boer War. War. Could have been that type of thing. You could have had casualties even coming back from that era and, and being here, because I definitely feel that, I feel hospitally, I feel that you're seeing that, that just, I think all this ground would have been like, you see on the films, you know, the, 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 the nurses like talking about the old push carts, you know, with the, yeah. with the sick and the, you know, I've got the old, dying. The old fashioned wheel, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wooden one. It was a bit like a sack barrel, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, I said that. I feel like a plane, so you could have just put them outside. Yeah, for a bit of fresh air. Um, but it was like you were quarantined on. Yeah. Your own. You're your own. Your yeah, your level of injury. Oh, illness. Oh, yeah. 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 Because it's like I'm seeing it. It done in water. You know. Oh, that that fades out now. Yeah. Now. Tell, tell me more about 
Well, when I when I first arrived, I felt that there was half the building missing. I felt I was in the building before I got inside the building, and I felt a sister, a sister, not a matron, more a sister, somebody that was doing. Yeah. Matrons in in the early days didn't do anything; they just sat there and give orders. But I felt that this uh, sister was sort of like. Well, you're welcome, you can come in or you can't come in, or you don't go in there, but you can go in there, you know, that sort of thing. And it was very old, place, very long dress, pinstripe, and I've seen that before, um, sort of like a white, but with, you know, like the ticks, the pillowcase ticks, yep. Yep. with that sort of striping down, uh, and a full headdress, a full um, nurse's, like, great big. You know, flapping thing. That explains the same woman I saw outside that wall last night. Yeah. I Does feel, it sound like the same one? Yeah. I yeah. feel like she's the same, but I feel like she goes out picking. I feel yeah, like she's quite down down there, there. Yeah. There's a wood there. Yeah. And having lost the side of the tree, it's a woman holding her hand. In the mid-30s, she's lost the tree. Yeah, yeah. Quick yeah. swim. And, uh, and we heard her just like chuckling. Yeah. I wonder why she's here on her own though, you know. I Obviously like there's doesn't... some story attached to this. Yeah, you know. I feel like he, he went out and was like a bit like a herbalist mm. because I feel like she believed in not the witch's potion. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm more in the in the in the sort of vein that of vein. <laughs> I'm more in the vein that she was perhaps in love, fell in love with one of her yeah. patients here. And and you said you saw her near the cemetery. Well, you know, we know that the spirit are attracted to the area where their loved ones lay. So perhaps she lost them down there. And, you know, that's why she's attracted to it. So maybe there. we need to, to speak to Henry to, or, or, or to oh, Aaron I'm to find out who's grave, who's grave was there. Who's there. Yeah. Who's there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that definitely has to be done. Yeah, that's good because it, you know you're getting validation from you and and me that yep. we and you that we've seen the right the same person. Exactly. So we we'll, we we'll need to contact Aaron. I'll go to Crowley to have a look. Because they're there now, aren't they? So yeah. you could get them to to find out <laughs> evening and that and, and this, this morning picked up that this area would have been real square. I feel like it was lower, I need to go down. Um, because I feel like there was a bit here to, to the to the center path, to the flag, to salute. Um, I had an officer um, who, who just got me to do my uh, basic drill sequence. Um, and he was he was in my ear going, you're not you're moving your arms, you just Marching, uh, told me I could be doing a rocking to slow march. Um, he was quite finessed. He he had a beard because I, I see the, the, the curl in here. Um, so, so, officer, what lost his life? Yeah. Um, I don't think he was a nice officer in some sense. Um, the discipline he gave was very, very strict. Um, but some of them needed it, he's saying. I had some lazy strokes under me. Um, I, I've got keeping this defended and keeping this thing. So there was a lot of walls in a built in, in and around the location. They just separated off different areas. Um, they're showing me that this would have been a quiet side of Durham. Um, and, and definitely the wildlife was, was a bit more active. Um,
So can you tell me is it earthbound or does it come back in the station? Um I feel like certain times of the year he's grounded. Like he just wants to stay. Um the rest of the time he just comes in with the station. Um he's showing me that he didn't get any medals. Um there was a little chap, he said he was 17 to join and then he was 13, um, even though the parents signed the documentation so they knew he was breaking the law. Um, this, this young lad, um, I feel like this was either his first major posting, wants to come out of base training. Um, it was a unit that he wanted to be at. It was a, a, a thing. He thought he was going to get an easy life here, but it is more busier than some of the other um, things, bases. He's showing me that, that there would have been an, an airport quite close or an RAF base quite close that would that they would use military transportation. So he died on his second tour. So I'm getting this. Well, right, yeah. Not here abroad. Um, I'm feeling hot because I'm burning. Um, it feels like he, he hit a stray bullet. It wasn't meant for him, but he hit a stray bullet. Um, And he didn't die instantaneously either. Um, it was like he slowly bled out. Uh, bit by bit. Day by day he came weaker and weaker. And I don't think he felt like he, he, he helped himself. Um, after the, the explosion. Because he decided that he didn't want to live as, um, with his disformities, so if, if he didn't eat and didn't take care of himself post the, the second tour, um, he, he, he wouldn't. There's at least three, three, um, army guys three of the regiment that got the Victoria Cross. I'm only getting three. And I feel like either this Harry or the Henry got it because I've got the H again. Um, trying to get me to, to, to do my shirt, chest back, shoulders back. Um, Even though they're not here in the same time period as the nurse, they can feel her and see her. And it's a bit like there's one one or two of the, the spirits here that kind of chase her. So when she starts running, sometimes it's because she's, she's made chase with them. Um, which I think is kind of sweet. Definitely. 
It's definitely dissected. Look, you've got a wall there that's completely covered in in uh, greenery. You can see yep. it. Um, but it could well be a been somebody's that was involved with what's going on here. Exactly. Because I feel like you would look out the window or uh, look in and yeah. see what the people are lying on. Maybe that was an office as well. Maybe. You know, but it, it looks a bit too modern. Yeah. But, but some of it, not part of it, is definitely. You never know what's been built on top of it. Do you remember when they had all the evacuation children? Yes. I've got children, and I think, you know, they were probably got off the coach or the bus or whatever, and they came here before they were found out to the farms, the, everywhere else. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I really do feel a very, very sad feeling. On a multiple level. Yeah, definitely. And I'm just saying that might be the for instance, because you've got a lot of children. I don't know, it's a stack sort of, but I'm not talking about that. There's a lot of sadness, a lot of tears. And it could have been something like that, an evacuation centre or something during the Second World War. I don't even know if they came up this far, but it's something that historians have done. Yeah, I also feel like. It was a bit like the girls and the girls were in one area and the boys were in a different. Yeah. I don't think they were together. I don't feel like brothers and sisters were kept together. We didn't see its importance in them days, did they? No, I guess not. It's almost like as if somebody's like, lights out, lights out, so as if it you know, there's a fire warden or something going right around saying, shut that lights off, you know, like the blackout. Yeah, um, curse. and I think that's something to do with the children that I'm feeling as well, you know, that era, that uh, Second World War type era, so perhaps we could find out if it was that, yeah. or it was used for that purpose. I, I do feel like some slept here, yeah. but I think they were slept on the floor. Mm. Um, well, you said military, look at it, it's very much like this dormitory, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm not feeling that, see, I'm just... No, I, I'm that. not feeling the dorm. The lower, the lower rank mess. It's really tiring, it's very heavy in here. Yeah. Do you feel tired? It's like, like, I'm yawning, you know, and I'm not tired, so, no. you know, that's how I'm feeling. Oh, it's very heavy. So I feel like perhaps you should drain me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they play with the electronics. Um, I do feel like one of these sick men likes to play with people. Yeah. And he's not sort of, he's a bit of a practical joker. Yeah. yeah. So he changes his name every time there's a different group here. That is definitely tired. I'm really, I could go to sleep. I really do feel like, oh, just let me go and let me nod off. That sort of thing. There's just different layers of things, and you know, it's sort of like trying to eat your way through a, a, a layer cake, if you like. You've got the new stuff, then you've got the recent modern stuff, and then you've got the older stuff, and then the ancient stuff underneath. It's really strange. I feel so sad. I feel like I'm crying. I want to cry. Do you know what I mean? I feel my nose is going, and I want to cry. Do you think this is? Is again thinking of without female energy that you No, it's a totally different. It's all very childlike in here, very um I mean I am I'm, I'm a mum, I'm a nana, so I I sense children's sadness, you know. Um uh, seem to pick them up wherever I bloody go. Um she was definitely as I was coming in the door. I saw that the building was almost in half of what it was originally. But she was definitely on the door. She definitely wanted to see me in, you know. Uh, and, and then when, when Dean said she, he saw that similar lady out by the cemetery, makes me think that perhaps there is a connection, you know. Oftentimes, like you get road ghosts and things like that. Yeah. There is a, there's a, a, somebody's died and they can't get to them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They can't meet for whatever reason. Um, I'm wondering whether, and I, I don't 
where these, these ideas come from because I feel like she wasn't there or working the day that he passed. He passed. Yeah. 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 There was definitely a love there. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's, you know. Because I feel like I want to be good giddy with, with her, her vibrations. Mm. Um, no. You but I think she was there. Mm. I would say, um, I've got the name Jonathan Scott, so I don't know if that's anyone connected to here. Well, or we'll have a look in the history books, you know. Um, I mean, I, I don't often get names when we're doing some things like this. Um, you know, for some reason I'm getting Lucretia, but it's a strange name to get. It's not a common name, is it? So yes. I'm getting Lucretia, so if that's her name, or perhaps one of the children's names that was here. You know, you, I can't tell you because I don't know. It seems that you were picking up on the children at the here, time. So, definitely. So, I mean, yeah. being in this area and sending the children here, I would say it was more... More, in, more definitely inclined to be one of the children rather children. than the, the nurse. It's definitely a nurse. I think even in them days, prior to the First World War, Matrons always dress differently to all ordinary nursing staff. You can hear something whistling. Can you move to Amanda? I know you've got the clock there, but I'm sensing my, you know, your grandfather, grandfather clock. Yeah. I'm feeling more, you know, where it's clock where you've heard the yeah. tick tock. Yeah. Tick tock. But they also use the tick tock sounds for the left, right, left, no, right. Like Petron, was it? Yeah. Petron or something? Whatever. The Whatever it is. Back in the wall. So I'll tell you what you're feeling on that side, what you picked up in here. Yeah, I feel disoriented, um, dizzy, and I feel um, there was a crime committed here, nothing um, is weird. Um, I, just, I just feel like hiding in a corner. It's like I want to go over there, but I don't want to go over there. And that's the area Suzanne isn't about. But I always automatically wanted to look up And that's where I saw him hanging. Then, and I said to you, didn't know, something's hung there, so I said. When? I don't know. Why? I don't know. But definitely. It's like as if they've used the window frame that was there as a. You know, the jump up point. There's a load of children all over, isn't there? There's children here, there's children outside, there's children in the other room. Perhaps the historian can find out if there was a... What did they used to call them when they used to send their children... You know, they're not the refugees, but what they called when they used to send them up from London and places like that. You, Big heavy bomb. What were they called? Yeah. Because they were refugees. Small foxes just popped in their head. You've got small foxes. I don't know why. It was just popped in their head. The word small fox, I don't know what it's anything to do with this or what. Well, that would go with illness, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah some sort of dreaded disease. Uh, interesting place. They were called refugees. What were they called? I never mean, know you when you know you know it. You can't, you can't get it out. I, I 
really do feel for some reason there has been children involved. Yeah. So I personally haven't felt any soldiers. No, I've, I've seen people in, in wheelchair things mm -hmm. out, the, out the front there, but I couldn't tell you whether they were soldiers or not. But I do think there was a monk at some time along there, so it, it goes with the soldier sort of thing. Was it I saw monks? Mm, yeah, I, I feel monks as well. In black robes, so yeah, yeah. The, the dark, dark brown yeah. one. Yeah. And I feel they stayed here overnight. Mm -hmm. And then Probably into on. the procession when they were used to march from God knows where to Durham. Yeah. You know. Oh. It's interesting whether you're going to pick anything much more up than that, I don't know. I've got a taste in my mouth as well. You know, like pennies, you know, really, you know when you bring handling coins, yeah. pennies, and you accidentally lick, lick, I can taste that in my mouth. Hello everyone, I'm just wrapping up today's paranormal investigation. I have entered this door in Durham, what I used to do in barracks. Been an active pack night, with, with soldiers footsteps, being heard marching, with soldiers footsteps marching. In the yard, through the yard, over there. Also, at 18 minutes past one this morning, me, speechless medium, Evie Loughley, found on the John Cook, we heard drums being heard, over to our left direction, at 18 minutes past one am. Uh, we've had a lot of footsteps being heard inside the building. Also, we've uh, Wrapped up a seance in the gym, where there was three officers, me and my man got on, Susan Ellis and Ian Wilson, all doing a table in the gym. So, uh, really, really active night with spirit. Uh, 18 minutes past one this morning, we had drums over there to our left. With I'm going to get a John Cook and medium, Evil Offrey. And uh, three mediums, very good for them, Evil Offrey, the speechless medium, Ronnie Pick Offrey. It's all four. We're four of the spirit entity, what's been seen outside now, the main tempest door, and the nurse. And uh, three mediums got the same thing. And Marion picked up on a suicide that happened at the building and uh, had to pass my phone to Ian and to let another medium in. And as another medium enter the building in one minute, 34 seconds, she picked up the same thing. As you can see, it's been behind me, but it's been a really, really great night at the Tempest Store tonight. Last night we searched the wood area on the other side of the Tempest Store. Our way with paranormal investigators Aaron Graham and Henry Tolly, and we speechless medium with Ronnie Cook of Wheels. Also, um, as Henry was investigating, there were four graves. Where this big growl come out of nowhere, and uh, they thought like it's going to fall from above. That's what happened last night as we were investigating. So, from me, the panel investigator, Dean Buckley, I'll say good night.